Hello, everybody. John Klenzik, Matrix Impact. Welcome to How to Run a Successful Sales Blitz, Part 3. All right, today we're going to talk about the alpha to a successful sales blitz. And by alpha, I mean everything that has to happen before you're actually running the blitz. All that prior organization. Now, a couple of things we've talked about already. We've talked about the planning for the territory. We've talked about the uh, the giveaways the car stock blend that you need for the first day, some of the preparation in terms of team pairings, a scheduling and agendas and that type of thing. But now how do we get all that information? Well, it all starts about 90 days before the blitz. When I say about 90 days, I mean minimum 90 days before the blitz. You've got to start your blitz organization. And I run what we call coordination meetings with my, with my clients. And I'm going to show you a couple different examples of them here. But the idea is, during these coordination meetings, what we're doing is we're setting out some basic things of what we're going to try and accomplish at the Blitz. So, for example, we're going to talk about who's going to be in the field, okay? What particular people? Where are they going to be located from? Are we bringing them from other branches, all right? Support, okay? Who's going to be there for support? We always want to have a hub, okay, or a quarterback running things. We'll talk more about that in a second. What are we going to be doing? You know, it's a blanket. What are we trying to get done? What's the goal of the, of the Blitz? When are we going to do it? Okay. What are the targets that we're going to be hitting and what are we trying to hit? Okay. What's the total goal that we're trying to hit? Always planning for comp competition and what's going to happen because I promise you if we go out there and we hit these people in the mouth by blasting the territory for two to three days, they're going to hit back. So make sure we've got a plan to take care of that. Talked about the blend, making sure we have the right giveaways, the products, tchotchkes, you name it, because guess what, guys? Those things open doors. Those things get sales started if you use them correctly. And then per, uh, we want to have prizes and awards. We want to make this fun. We want to have the, the team get in on it. And the way you do it is have prizes. We're going to talk more about that specifically in a second. Competitor response, talked about that. And then plans after the blitz. We're going to get to that on our next segment. All right, we're not going to do that today. Okay, let's go to another look at a coordination meeting again. Dates of the blitz reps for the field, areas to hit, okay, broken down in quadrials, showed you that before. Vendor coordination, something we haven't talked about yet. If you're a company that sells another company's products, manufacturing rep, uh, or, or if you sell through distribution, make sure you get your vendors on board. It's a nice way to get them, A, give them some exposure, B, get some working time with them to get their product knowledge, but also this is a way to share expenses. They're going to bring money to the to the fold here. They're going to bring their products that you're going to have to pull out of your inventory, so it's not going to cost you any money. They can add money to the prize total that you got. Hub coordination. You always want to have that quarterback back at home because if these guys are doing their job and knocking on a lot of doors and getting a lot of things running, guess what's going to happen? Opportunities. you got to have somebody back there that can take care of problems, put quotes in, that can do whatever is necessary for the teams out in the field. Depending on the number of reps you have, this is going to depend on how many uh, quarterbacks you're going to need. Okay, You could need a couple. It just depends on the size of the team. How many reaches per day per contact group do you want? Blend, we've talked about this a couple times. What are the different things? Also, make sure you're bringing up to them the GPS and the research part. Okay, you have a primary and a secondary in each team. Okay, the, the primary is driving, the secondary is sitting there with their iPad, their laptop, their smartphone. Use them. They're going out to a company, they want to get some more information, get on the iPad. Go and search the internet. Find what they can find out about these people. Use the quarterback, call back, get information about the people that you're going out to see. Mid the long term follow up, we're going to talk about that in our next chapter. Travel logistics. If you're bringing people in from different branches, you've got to make sure you get that. You've got that part worked out. You got to make sure you're talking to branch managers that it's okay for them to come in. You got to know when they're getting in because you're going to be scheduling meetings for these people that we're going to talk about later. Prizes, awards, and dinners. So for this particular blitz, what we did is we did most leads daily and cumulative. So every day we we totaled them up, and then for the total blitz, most dollars quoted daily and cumulative, and then most cranes found daily and cumulative. All right, and these prizes were given out that day. We're going to talk about what those meetings look like at our next segment. Folks, that's all I got for today. Okay, I want to make this one short and sweet, but you've got to start out a minimum 90 days if you're going to make this thing a success. And you've got to be having these coordination meetings with the, with the Blitz team so everybody knows what's getting done, how it's getting done, and what needs to get done. If you've got any questions, as always, give me a call, 216. 3476729 otherwise this is John Kalensic telling you you can either make sales or make excuses
but you can't do both. I'm out of here.